Hey guys, welcome back. Continuing on with our L system design of the stem, I'm going to introduce just a couple more rules into our L system just to give us a little bit more control and to give us a little bit more um, shape and definition to our to our stem. So let's carry on. So I'm going to jump over to my rules tab here. Uh, before I do that, actually, I'm going to go to the geometry tab. And currently we're looking at a skeleton. So we're, we're seeing it as a line or a spline, if you like. We can change this over to a tube and we get a sort of a geometric representation of what our our mesh can look like. I'm just going to temporarily disconnect our leaf geometry by holding down Y, just connect, disconnecting that. So obviously this is what our geometry currently looks like and I'm just going to, just to make it a bit easier on the eye, jump over to tubes and then just give ourselves a little bit more geometry just so it looks a little bit easier uh, on the eye something like that. So at the moment everything is very uniform, um, you know there's no kind of scale difference as we progress down. We need to introduce that and we can do that using the exclamation point and let me just find it for you so we can give you a in the turtle command reference, there we go. Multiply the current thickness by the default thickness scale. So same thing as we did with this iterator value here, we can, every iteration we can multiply it by um, this value here, this thickness scale value, currently set to 0.9. So every iteration it's going to get thinner and thinner and thinner. And we can introduce that right at the start of our rule. Okay, so we just put an exclamation point right at the start. And you can see already that as we approach the tip of the, of the main stem, starts to get thinner and we can control that using the thickness scale okay so we can sort of initialize a base thickness and then m decide how much to multiply that with as we progress down so I'm just going to put in some values that sort of roughly make sense for this uh, an ivy plant and have it taper off nicely okay now obviously we need to fix the branches because they need to also taper accordingly uh, and we can do that here because we know these are our branches so currently we've got a branch that goes left and a branch that goes right and we can take advantage of the, the additional variables that each instruction can have so here if you look F moves forward and then we've got these additional variables here L, W, S and D and they are described there so we can change the distance with L so we can set a specific distance we can set a specific width and then we can add more cross sections and divisions if necessary so we can use this syntax here to really control how we want our uh, little branches to look so after the F where we create that branch I'm just going to introduce those brackets so we can start placing that information that we need the length, if you remember, going back to the documentation, the first thing is length. And we don't want to modify that. We want to pass through the uh, the original or the calculated length, if you like. So we're going to take advantage of a, of a variable, a local function and variable here. And if we find L in this list, the current length increment at this point. So we want to pass that straight back in for the length because we don't want to modify the length we want the algorithm to, to calculate that for us we are concerned about the the thickness of it so after l we can specify a thickness and i'm just going to hard code it in just so it comes to a, a, a point and there you can see now we're getting that nice tapering off Could probably even go lower than that something like that so it just tapers down into next to nothing so that's one side taken care of. We just need to replicate that on the other side. So again, we'll introduce those variables, pass in L, and then the thickness we want is 0, 0, 5. And there we go. We're starting to get something a bit more tree-like in its, in its structure. Cool. The next thing I want to add is a little bit of uh, tropism. Now, tropism it describes the way that plants tend to grow towards the light. So phototropism is when plants 
will sort of reach up to the sunlight or reach up to a light that they're growing to. Um, and we can simulate that in L systems. And the way we would do that is, again, coming back to the documentation. If we find T for tropism, apply the tropism vector, brackets gravity, this angles the turtle towards the negative y axis, the amount of change governed by G, so the, the variable that you plug into it. Okay, so before we call our next iteration, we can just put a capital T there to apply some tropism to our structure. And now if we jump to the values tab, I'm just going to plug the leaves back in so we can see what's going on. If we jump back to the gravity tab now, we can have our plant growing very strongly to the light with sort of simulating phototropism, if you like. Or we can have our geometry sort of responding to the weight of gravity and sort of bending down. Again, when we come to randomize these plants, we will be able to manipulate this on a per strand basis so we can create some real variety uh, moving forward with this. Awesome stuff. So with that, I mean, there's a couple more things we could tweak. Um, everything's looking very, very flat at the moment. So we could introduce a little bit of a, an angle onto these branches. OK. And the way we're going to do that is using another of the turtle commands, which is the ampersand, which is pitch up a certain amount of degrees. OK. So in our ever expanding rule set for our ivy, we can introduce that ampersand. So and, and then I'm just going to specify an angle. Whatever works, I'm just going to go with 12.5. And again, for the other branch, and brackets 12.5. So you can see we're starting to push those leaves out a little bit. Cool. OK, so with that, a very, very brief introduction to L systems. They're super cool. They're really, really powerful. And you can get some really cool results, not just for nature stuff. I've used them in the past for science fiction sort of paneling and antennas and all kinds of cool stuff. And they're really, really useful. And you know, if you just have a couple of these turtle commands in your head, you'll be surprised at how many places you can think, oh, well, instead of modeling that, I could do that in an L system. You know, it's just a very simple recursive um, geometry creation tool. Really, really useful. Tons of resources out there uh, about them. Some quite serious mathematical stuff as well if you want to go deep down the rabbit hole but for creating trees and plants and twigs and branches they're absolutely awesome uh, because as you can see you just have to manipulate the random seed and you get a totally different look and we're going to take advantage of that in upcoming videos okay so in the next video what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how we can generate our leaf okay now i'm going to be using uh quixel assets um, so if you've got an Epic Games account or if you've got um, Unreal Engine installed, you can use your account credentials to download Quixel Bridge and use all these resources for free, which is absolutely insane. So if you're not using Quixel already between videos, I would definitely advise getting it, creating an account, logging in with your Unreal Engine credentials and you'll have access to the same resources that I've got. Okay, so in the next video, we'll make a start on that. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.